All right, let's get this motherfucking show started. Today is Monday. Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it by the way, the boy go by Heist Man. What up, though? Heist Man, the foe, talk that talk episode, motherfucking 31. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. I don't know. I feel kind of good right now. But today is Monday, February the 25th. Damn, 25th. Of Fe- Goddamn, it's two months after Christmas already. That's some shit. Two months after Christmas, February 25th. You know what? I don't think none of my kids have none of their Christmas toys from um, Christmas. Two months. All this shit been bought and paid for, and they don't have none of their fucking toys no more. Maybe the electronics and, and the clothes and shoes, shit like that, but I'm talking about like the, the toys and shit. Like the little kids, the toys they get, they ain't got none of them motherfuckers, man. Son of a bitches. They getting one toy each next year. No, they ain't. Spoil fuckers. But, fuck them. Fuck them kids. Fuck high kids. They bad. All right. Today is Monday. Mad as hell Monday. Everybody motherfucking hates Monday. I hate Monday. You hate Monday. We all hate Monday. Let's get it. Um, what happened? Oh, my, oh yeah. Today Monday. So you got to take the garbage out to the road. You know, I like I like that part about being Monday. Take the garbage to the road. Get all the trash out the house from the weekend. All the kids like the like eat a lot of fast food on the weekends. Because ain't nobody fucking cooking for these kids, man. It's like either you're going to fend for yourself or I'm running up the street, get you some McDonald's or some Burger King, some pizzas or something like that. So I put the trash can to the road on Mondays. This, this is a day in the life of heist on a Monday. But the kids don't never want to fucking go to school on Monday either. Never. None of them. None of them. None of them. None of them. It's crazy because we have little kids and we have big kids. We have like some, some 16-year-olds or a 17-year-old. Then we got like the little... The little ones go to elementary school. And it's funny because all fucking weekend long, the big kids, they gone for the weekend. Like, when Friday hit, they come home, they do their chores, and they hit the fucking road. The girl go one way, the boy go the other way. You know, they go to their, either their cousin's house or they go to their um, best friend's house and they spend the weekend. They gone for the weekend. The little kids, they'll do them with terrorize and... After they do their chores, they want to go outside and mess up the yard, dig holes. I'm tired of you fucking kids. These kids of mine digging holes in the fucking yard, in the backyard. I hate that shit, but they do it. But it's crazy because we regroup as a family on Sunday. So everybody come back together on Sunday and what they do. They start want to wash school clothes for next week, like the older kids. And they be like, um, can you put this in the dryer for me? I'm like, bruh. I'm not putting no clothes in the dryer for you at, what, 11 o'clock at night. But a simple fact, you had all weekend to do it. You could have did it before you left this weekend. But no, y'all want daddy to put y'all clothes in the dryer. Not doing it. But then again, I'd be doing it because y'all not staying home. So I got to do it. But I don't have to do it. But if y'all still up, if I see y'all up in the middle of the night, hey, put your clothes in the dryer. You thought I was going to do it? Get your ass up. Nah. But it's Monday, and these motherfuckers don't never want to go to school. Every Monday, somebody always mysteriously sick. Oh, my stomach hurt. Oh, my neck, my leg, my back, my tooth ache. Um, something else, something this. So that's what the kids do every fucking Monday. Nobody wants to go to school. But it'd be off to the races. That's how I be doing. I'll be sending their ass up out of here in the morning. Get, get, come on, come on. Get your ass up. It's time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. I get up out of there. But well, that's just Monday. Everybody hate Mondays. But what happened in the fucking news? Oh, um, R. Kelly, he can't afford bail. Eh, that ain't news. He should have been fucking locked up. All the shit he been doing. Like, I seen the tape back in the days, man. Like, 03, I believe. When I was in Indianapolis. Um, 
It was definitely R. Kelly, man. R. Kelly had on like three different outfits. Like he was three different hairstyles. It was like a compilation. That's what it was. It was like a molestation compilation. Oh, that don't sound. <laughs> molestation compilation starring R. Kelly. Yes, but it was a compilation. You seen him with the bald head. You seen him with the braids. And you seen him with half of the braids took out. Like three different bitches. Young bitches. But I seen that shit back in like, I'll tell you like 03, man. That was weird, yeah. Um, but yeah, R. Kelly. The motherfucking Oscars happened yesterday. Um, ooh, Spike Lee won an Oscar for, for Black Klansman. Eh, I don't think he should have won for Black Klansman. I think Spike Lee should have won for Malcolm X a couple years, about 10, 15 years ago. Maybe even 20, man. Time went by so fucking fast. Like, you look at shit on TV now, like, hey. It's the 27th anniversary. I'm like, what? Really? Wayne's World came out that long ago? Hey, I'm old, nigga. But, um, real shit. Spike Lee won an Oscar for Black Klansman. And I think he should have won for Malcolm X. Crazy little side story to that, though, is, um, Malcolm X was starring Denzel Washington. Black Klansman is starring David Washington, which is Denzel Washington's son. So it was like the... The slave, the ghost slave of the Oscars or something came back and um, represented for um, David Washington and gave him that shit. Oh, another thing. Oh, my God. I know y'all seen this shit. This is the biggest fucking story about the Oscars to me. And ain't no Lady Gaga singing with um, Bradley Cooper. It wasn't that. The biggest part, because I didn't watch the Oscars at all. I'm not watching that shit. I'm not, I'm not an Oscar watcher. Oscar watcher. Um, I'm the grouch. I'm in the trash can. Um, the thing, the biggest story to me was the motherfucking dude named Billy Porter. Billy Porter wear a full fucking dress to the Oscars. I mean, he's a gay dude, so obviously he, obviously gay, he wearing a fucking dress, but obviously he gonna wear some weird shit. But the dude named Billy Porter, he's an actor. I never seen him in nothing but American Horror Story. Boom. I love that shit. The first, um, like the first three seasons was good, and the next two, then, yeah. then they're trying to get back onto it now. But American Horror Story, that's what Billy Porter played in, and um, he did real good in um, in that show, um, American Horror Story. He's who's the black gay dude, and I just like his mannerisms. Like I don't care what nobody say, man. I love gay people. I think they're funny. Like they, not that I'm laughing at them or laughing with them i'm just laughing about them i don't know is they mannerisms like it's another sh another show I, I watch with a gay dude and it's called Shit's creek um if anybody ever seen Shit's creek y'all see the gay son he just he too much for me man he, he boy what's his name is daniel levy his eugene levy son he's fucking hilarious man all his little gay mannerisms in his hands and <laughs> the way he just moved so Big shout out to the LGBTQXYZ community. Whatever the fuck y'all call. Y'all butterflies. Y'all be changing. Nah, I'm bullshit. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, Billy Porter, he wore a full fucking dress. He had like a tuxedo at the top and he had like a long dress. Like a big dress. I'm talking, dude looked like fucking like, like Martha Washington or motherfucking Mary Tyler Lincoln or something. He had like the big black dress on, flowing gown. Like, I don't know, man. Y'all done seen this shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Just look up Oscar Dress. Oscar Dress nigga. Uh, Oscar Dress dude. Uh, not Oscar from WWE. Oscar. I said Oscar. <laughs> I think of Oscar. I think of uh, Foul Mouth Bobby. Oscar. But uh, the Oscar Dress he had on. Dude look crazy as fuck in that Oscar Dress, man. What else today happened, man? Oh, in Fall River, Massachusetts, two 15-year-old girls robbed the bank. <laughs> Hope y'all got away. Well, y'all obviously y'all didn't get away. It made the news, so shout out to y'all, man, who did it. Today is February twenty fifth. So who birthday is today? Oh, Rashida Jones. Today her birthday. Rashida Jones is the um the white chick. I mean the black chick that look white. She's mixed, so you know she came out a red bone. It's it's a difference between um yellow high yellow girls and red bones. 
we get into that another time though so it, it is a difference between yellow and red when it comes down to light-skinned people but rashida jones look white she's um quincy jones daughter though quincy jones is like a motherfucking producer or some shit like that y'all know quincy jones i mean i guess y'all know quincy jones he also an executive producer of like shows like the fresh prince of bel-air you think about it yeah it's also um chelsea handler birthday today y'all might not know who the fuck she is she's a um, white woman comedian she did her thing for a little minute i think she's probably still doing her shit Ooh, woo more like it um today is rick flair birthday woo woo rick flair drip go whoop on the bitch i love that shit today rick flair birthday so i know they're probably gonna do something today on monday for for him on raw maybe they might not give a fuck about him who else birthday sam aston oh rudy today rudy birthday y'all remember rudy y'all remember that movie rudy 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 i think rudy was rudy retarded i don't know was he retarded no that was radio who was retarded and forrest gump and rain man them all the retarded people to play the movies rudy was just little as hell but he wanted to play for notre dame he wanted to play football for notre dame and um i think he got on the field like the last fucking two plays that he got a tackle or something it was like a good story they picked him up at the end and shit and that's rudy so sam aston the dude to play rudy today his birthday and last but not least carrot top <laughs> carrot top birthday is today carrot top motherfucking um he buff as hell right now <laughs> tell you the truth if anybody seen carrot top lately carrot top said i'm tired of you motherfuckers talking about me i'm gonna put on some weight i'm gonna start putting you niggas in the headlock punching you in the face all that shit so big shout out to carrot top he look weird as shit though with that black eyeliner on and that big hair i don't know man but carrot top today is his birthday what happened in the news today on this date in history oh on this date in 1964 muhammad ali defeated sonny liston float like a butterfly sting like a bee um i wasn't around for that so i don't really know nothing about it i just know it happened on this date float like a butterfly sting like a bee i don't know what about butterflies is butterflies um are they like this color for moths is that what they really are a butterfly i don't know do moths do moths be caterpillars i don't know but bees only thing about a bee that um people don't, don't realize is when they sting you they die after that so Go ahead, so they sting you they hurting me but they hurting themselves forever i don't know their life expectancy but that's how it be sometimes a bees in the trap be bees in the trap honey bees make honey what else in the motherfucking news today i ain't really got that much today oh it's that time of the motherfucking episode when we sit back and release the nigga or the cracker release all your shit so on the count of three we all gonna deeply breathe in and exhale what you want to say the shit you gotta get off your chest so on the count of three here we go one two three <sighs> nigga that was good to me that was real good to me i liked it, that one that was my that was my best nigga I ain't gonna say nigga of the week. That's my boy. <laughs> Frank gonna kill me. <laughs> He's like, oh, you stealing my shit, man? Fuck you. Nah, I didn't mean that, right? I didn't mean to say nigga of the week. I can't wait for nigga of the week this week. The nigga of the week is some. Who we picked for nigga of the week? I wanna debate him on the nigga of the week. I think it should go to the animal. <laughs> But we're going to get into that motherfucking Thursday night. And every motherfucking Thursday night on the Ray Rollins radio show. Me, Heist. I am Heist, man. I'm, I'm saying, hey, Ray. <laughs> Me, Ray. Barely smoke Rudolph. Um, at his payment, whenever he come back. Sometimes the homie Shots Fire Christian be coming through supporting the homies and helping us out with the motherfucking shit. So, I said me and Heist. That's how Ray be doing it. Say, catch this every motherfucking weekend on the red fucking Ray Rollins radio. Me, Ice Man, Ben Smoke, Rudolph, Alice Payne, we be. I'm like, whoa, this boy sound like the damn micro machine, man. <coughs> Ray can talk fast as hell, boy. But, let's get back into some shit. 
I'm kind of bullshitting right now, man. I'm just kind of taking my time with this. It's um, it's fucking Monday. It's the start of the week, so you know everybody gotta, uh, gotta get it in. Um, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette now. Or should I smoke a blunt? I think I'm gonna save my weed for later. I'm having a little. My throat been hurting, man. I I think I don't know, man. For the past like, I say like the past two weeks, I think um, I've been having neck problems. Not neck problems, but like esophagus problems. And I I don't I don't have a cold or nothing like that. But I'm starting to think that is this cup that I purchased at my son's um on my son's field trip a couple weeks ago. It's a it's a metal chalice. It's like a not a chalice. It's like a mug really, but it has like it's metal in the inside and and it's graved. It's like not engraved, but it got like a um a skull on it. It was the medieval fair that we went to the medieval fair, and I seen this cup I wanted. And the shit was twenty five dollars. So I'm like, oh fuck, I kind of want this shit though. I'm getting this shit. So I got the shit and dude said, oh yeah, yeah. Me wrap it up for you. I put it in the box. You put it in the box for me, uh, cause I was on my way out the door, cause I was going home, and he was like close to the exit. So I'm like, cool. So he got the, you know, he he's smart. He getting that last motherfucking money up out of you. You go in there, you spend your money and shit, and you're like, okay, I'm leaving. And you get one more motherfucker at the door selling shit. It's like, goddamn. Let me go and get something from him. You know, I, I, like I said, he had he had cups and shit. I wanted, so I grabbed one. So I get to the car to look at it and shit again. Like, goddamn, I got this cup I want. I opened it up. He had a whole totally different one in there. So I'm looking like, goddamn, I do not want to go back inside this. It was a, it was at the fairgrounds. It wasn't like. It was some big theme park, you know. You know, it was it was at the fairgrounds though. So I was like, ah, I don't want to do it. So Charlene, she was like, man, fuck it, go back. You spent your money on that shit. Get what you want. I said, it's still a cup. It's a cup. I was like, ah, fuck it. I said, nah, fuck that. I did spend twenty five dollars on this cup. I'm going to get my shit back. So I went back to get the shit, and he said, oh, no problem, man. I'm sorry, you know. Like he just seen me. He know it was his product. It was a it was a nice cup I had, but I didn't want that one. I wanted the one I wanted. So I got my shit back. But ever since I've been um drinking out of it, I don't know if it was mind over matter. Do I do I have a cold not know about it or something? It, not like a cold, but I'm, I'm I'm eating a fucking cough drop, you know? Cause my throat hurt. And I'm thinking it because it's the metal cup that I'm using. Is it doing something? Am I not supposed to drink out of metal? I know people drink out of thermostats, but and some of them they be metal there's a lot of people drink out of metal shit but is is this shit not galvanized or something is this something am i getting am i gonna turn into colossus that's what i want to know from drinking this fucking metal cup i want to i want to take myself off this metal cup for a couple weeks to see but i like the cup so much but i, I just want to drink liquor out of it and that's the only thing i drink out of is liquor so is it might be causing a chemical reaction with the liquor and the metal glass object cup and this fucking doing something to my throat because my shit been hurting and the only thing i can think of that i had new inside my fucking throat ugh, that sounded so <laughs> um <laughs> was the motherfucking um that metal cup so i don't know i want to give a big shout out to the homie two more bottles you know, he said he liked the um the purple and shit. So I said, man, you know, I, I gotta change my shit up every ten episodes. So I did the little orange shit. So I'm gonna throw a little shout out to two more bottles in there. You know, throw me a little purple in there somewhere. You know, I got something planned up for him. So this is a little shout out. And the homie Kill Dozer. I mean, he don't have a. a it, ain't, it don't say Kill Dozer. They don't say K I L L D O Z E R, but it's like K L L D Z R. So. Me, it's a kill dozer, but that's the homie, man. I find out that we we both have an animal name and likeness. You know, I have a dog named Meatball, and he has a cat named Meatball. Fat boy, what's up, man? What you doing in my room? My son just came in. He have on a socks with the fox shirt. What did it say? Socks and fox? No, fox and socks. What is? Is that Doctor Um Seuss? All right. Oh my dog nigga. But yeah, he was my son, man. He just walked in. Fat boy. That's what I call him. He not fat though. He a little fucker, but he was a fat ass little baby. A big shout out to the um Kill Dozer too, man. 
We both got the meatballs. I got a motherfucking English bulldog named Meatball, and he has a cat named Meatball. This is weird. Like we both have not weird, but it's like a it's like a good. It's it's kind of funny, man. You know, I have a dog named Meatball. He have a cat named Meatball. I think we should have like the battle of the meatballs. Nah. I have, I have a dog. He has a cat. So I win because now, I haven't seen some cats fuck up some dogs before. I ain't gonna front. Um, I have a, I had a cat that fucked up a dog. Real shit. Like he came over by the food show. Real quick. Scratch him up in his face and we had to take it to the damn um, vet to get stitched up. Cause they caught him like right across the eye. And the only reason why we went to the vet, the vet, because I have a white wife. <laughs> Niggas would not be doing that shit. I'm telling you, man, my wife is one of them good people. I'm looking like, man, we can't just be sitting out here kicking out no $300 for no vet, for no dog, man, for no animal. But then again, she a good person, so we be sitting out there spending money for animals, man. It's like, come on, man. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just I'm a little bit cheaper than she is. Oh, most definitely cheaper than what she is. She's spending a lot of fucking money. But... Talk that talk, man. Just talking that bullshit. I always gotta come up with a little motherfucking top ten list. To give me something to do to spread the time out. And um, since today is episode thirty-one, I thought about doing motherfucking thirty-one flavors of um, not thirty-one flavors of ice cream. I thought about Baskin Robin thirty-one flavors. Flavor. Remember flavor, fla flavor, flay, flavor, flavor. Ugly as hell too, man. That's crazy. Flavor Flay, he had that motherfucking Vikings hat on and that clock. But um Flay Flay, uh, he was ugly, but his shows was the shit. Everybody loved motherfucking um Flavor Love. I don't know. Nobody didn't like that shit show. He sitting in there black with gold teeth, some glasses on, had some if it was twenty bitches, at least seventeen of them was bad, you know. And he had a couple ugly ones there, but you know, you gotta get ugly bitches love too. But Flavor Flavor's the shit. Flavor Flay but yeah fuck that uh, <laughs> i'll be high man i'm telling you i'll be ranting on about other bullshit man but like i said since today is episode 31 i thought about baskin robbins and 31 flavors so we're gonna do the top 10 ice cream flavors and i don't know how the fuck i got on the flavor with flavors flavor flavor yeah but fuck that number 10 coffee coffee or coffee liqueur Coffee liqueur is a ice cream flavor. Oh, my daughter. Hey, I'm recording right now. You can't hear nothing on your tablet. Hey, give me five minutes, and I and I will. Hey, stop, girl. Give me a few minutes, and I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, leave me alone. Oh my God. Little baby Heist is uh, fucking with me again. Number nine is Rocky Road. Rocky Road was made and named for, you know, for morale for the Great Depression. That's why it came out. They needed something different. They needed, instead of having vanilla and chocolate and strawberry, they said, we need, we need to do something for morale. So they came up with Rocky Road, mixed a whole bunch of shit together. That's what I pulled from that. But number eight is pistachio ice cream. Uh, I never had it and I think I never will try pistachio ice cream. I like ice cream. I like pistachios. I don't think I like pistachios and ice cream. You see? I like pickles and I like raisins, but I don't ever think I eat pickles and raisins. You see, so you just can't mix everything together. But I heard it's pretty, pretty. I heard it's pretty good, and it's been out for a long time. I thought it was just came out because I think I just started hearing about pistachio ice cream probably like three, four months ago. But now I've been hearing about it. Number seven is strawberry ice cream. And this dated back from 1813. So strawberry ice cream been out for a long time. You like pickle ice cream and strawberry ice cream? I never heard of pickle ice cream, Malala. It's kind of like pickles with ice cream. It's kind of like pickles with ice cream? Okay. Number six is mint chocolate chip. Eh. You like mint chocolate chip? The green ice cream with the chocolate chips in it? Come here, get a little closer since you're sitting here talking. Yeah, you're going to record with daddy. Come here. Let me sit up here on my lap. My hair's still wet. Your hair still wet? You just got out of the bathtub? Yeah. All right. Take that. Give me that cotton. Give you that what? That yeah. cotton? No. 
Wait, you're going to make something out of that for me. Yeah. And stop playing the yes, I will. Uh, yes, calm down. Calm down. You cannot be sitting there talking over me. All right. Number five is chocolate chip cookie dough. You like chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream? Yeah. yeah. What you Even like? Even when it's already dough, the yeah. chocolate chip. Uh huh. All right. Number four is chocolate chip ice cream. Hold on. I think they just said mint chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie dough, and number four is chocolate chip. Mm, yeah. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Uh, okay. And um, number three is vanilla. I like vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. Remember vanilla? Oh, you don't remember? Uh, I'm asking, do you remember vanilla ice? Van hey. Vanilla ice. I know vanilla ice cream because I ate it at um, that place with good chicken. The place with good chicken? Yeah, that had ice cream. Vanilla one. Mm. Vanilla. Oh, vanilla ice, though. I remember va vanilla ice. He don't get no respect that he need. Him or MC Hammer. They both for the shit back in the days, man. They had all kind of cartoons and toys and shit like that. Everybody, man, I'm telling you, do y'all research, man, on Vanilla Ice. He was like the first white boy rapper that was killing it. All right, number two is cookies and cream. Cookies and cream, all right. Yeah, I like those. And number one is chocolate ice cream. Oh, yeah, I like that. You like chocolate? Yeah. All right, we have some honorable mentions. Rum raisin, butterscotch. Never, I never had rum raisin. I never heard of Heavenly Hash or Maple Walmart, but Butter Pecan is also a motherfucking honorable okay. mention. Yep, ice cream. Well, before I get rudely interrupted by my daughter before she started fucking with me, I'm at I'm the recording end. recording with you. Yeah, you're recording with me, baby. Cause so I, I can look. talk. So you can talk. Anything you want to say to the people? What you want to say? Give me that cat mask, guys. I'm not gonna give you my cat mask. You can hold on. This all right. I can say something. You can't say Ready? if you had the mask on, anybody gonna hear you. Okay, how about the dog mask? I, hold on. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me, let me do the outro. Then I then I do it. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All right. This has been Talk That Talk episode motherfucking thirty one. <laughs> I'm sitting here with little baby Heist, and she has just took over the show. So I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Mm, talk that no, talk like episode. That I'm gonna let you say some of that. I'm doing the outro. I'm telling you. Hold on, hold on. Just calm down. All right. Oh my God. She's that's fucking my, with it. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. This has been Talk That Talk episode 31. Fuck with your boy. Same bet time. Same bet channel. Um. Tomorrow my daughter fucking with me and I'm not gonna be able to get this done. So, fuck with your boy. Heist man the foe. Peace. Say peace. Say peace. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fuck you.